Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Vinny Costa, and I'm gonna take you through some tips and tricks on how to paint your engine block. Now we all know it's not abnormal to see rusty engine parts inside an engine bay, and there's a lot of products on the market to dress up your engine to make it look better. So I wanna thank Engine Pro for sending us some engine enamel to use. Now Engine Pro makes five different types of paint for various applications. Engine enamel, primer, high heat paint, rust proof paint, and fleet and equipment paint. Now today we're just looking at engine blocks, so enamel's definitely the right choice. Now this engine enamel is made specifically for engines, transmissions, and other OEM equipment, so you don't have to worry about it flaking off after a couple weeks like regular old rattle can paint would. And this isn't any run-of-the-mill hardware store paint. This stuff can withstand temperatures up to 300 degrees. So first, you need to clean your engine block of any oil, dirt, and grime that's built up over time. Today, we're using EPG number 40-1548 to clean our block. Now once you get it clean, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you wash off any cleaning residue or water so the new paint can properly adhere to the engine. Now if there's any excess rust or corrosion, just use a wire brush to remove it. Now that the engine's clean and free of rust, we're ready to mask off any surfaces we don't wanna get paint on. Once everything's masked, you're ready to paint. You're gonna to wanna to shake the can for one to two minutes in a side to side and up and down motion just to make sure all the material is mixed up inside the can. You can check the spray pattern on a piece of paper or cardboard so you know nothing is clogged in the spray nozzle. After the spray pattern is checked, you can start applying the paint to your engine. Just make sure everything is set up in a well ventilated area and make sure you wear a respirator before painting the block. Keep the spray can and nozzle about six to 12 inches away from the engine while you spray and work with a back and forth motion until the block is completely covered. You're gonna to wanna to hit those tight corners and hard to reach areas first, then move on to the larger surfaces. And don't worry about covering every single inch of the block the first time around. Take your time and move at a smooth pace. Now, after you apply three to four coats of the enamel, look over your engine block and make sure you haven't missed any areas, and then touch up any places you may have missed. Between layers, shake the aerosol can and make sure the material stays mixed. Now you've got a finish on your engine that'll hold up against heat, oil, and water. Thanks again to Engine Pro for the paint. I'm pretty pleased with how this looks after some TLC. Check out enginepro.com and check out Engine Labs for the latest do-it-yourself tech.